Welcome to a lesson on the angled bisector theorem. The goal of this video is to state and prove the angled bisector theorem. The angled bisector theorem states that if a point is on the angled bisector, then the point is equidistant from the sides of the angle. So if this red rays are angled bisector, and we consider this point on the angled bisector, this theorem tells us that this point would be equidistant from the two sides of the angle, or in this case, the two blue rays. Meaning this green segment here would be congruent to this green segment here. Let's see if we can prove this. Let's first talk about our strategy. Our strategy is going to be to prove that this triangle here is congruent to this triangle here by angle, angle, side. We'll do this by showing that this angle here and this angle here would be right angles. And then if this red ray is the angle bisector, this angle here would be congruent to this angle here. And then this side of the hypotenuse of the right triangles would be congruent to itself. Therefore, the two triangles would be congruent by angle, angle, side. And therefore, this segment here is congruent to this segment here. Let's go ahead and write this out in a two column proof. So here we're given that ray AD bisects angle BAC and that ray AB is perpendicular to segment ED and ray AC is perpendicular to segment FD. So as we normally do, we'll start by stating the given. So if ray AB is perpendicular to segment ED, we know that angle AED would be a right angle. And if ray AC is perpendicular to segment FD, we know angle AFD would be a right angle. So angle AED and angle AFD are right angles. This would be by definition of perpendicular lines. And then if these two angles are right angles, they would be congruent. Angle AED is congruent to angle AFD. And the reason for this is that all right angles are congruent. So let's go ahead and mark that. We know these are right angles and that they're also congruent. Now if ray AD bisects angle BAC, we know that angle BAD would be congruent to angle FAD. And this is by definition of an angle bisector. So this angle here is congruent to this angle here. So we have angle, angle in both of these two triangles. And now to get the side, notice how both of these triangles share side AD. And in both cases, it's the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So for step five, we can say that segment AD is congruent to segment AD. This is by the reflexive property. So this side is congruent to itself. So now we know that these two triangles are congruent. Let's be careful that we state these in corresponding order. So we'll say triangle AED is congruent to triangle AFD. And the reason for this would be angle, angle, side congruence. So if these two triangles are congruent, then their corresponding parts must also be congruent. So segment ED would be congruent to segment FD. And again, the reason here would be the corresponding parts of congruent triangles are also congruent. And this is exactly what we were trying to prove. If these two segments are congruent, of course, they're the same length, which is what the angle bisector theorem tells us. Any point on this angle bisector 
would be equidistant from the two sides because from any point on this angle bisector, we would have two congruent triangles. I hope you found this helpful.